little bit of a run in to you see must Trudy. Get, you must get super fit in this job. Yes, super fit, <laughs> along with Jets, thank you. And join, joining us now is Trudy with Beauty and the best in the beauty staple that we all love, mascara. I know, it's the, it's the product that most women won't leave the house without. That and a bit of lippy, good to go, yeah. right? So what's on trend at the moment? Look, it's all about the formulation, and I bang on about that all the time, but there's so many clever things from aero particles that are used in space to um, wax formulations. Um, the other thing is that the brushes have all had a bit of an update, really, yeah. to make it easy for you to get a great look with your lashes. Um, the brush is everything in my mind. So it's okay. a combination of formulation and the brush. All right, so not everything is equal in mascaras, no. is it? and so... you should really aim to find the right mascara to suit your lashes, not necessarily the one that's just on trend. Okay. So I what, do like... I, what do I need to look out for? Well, if you've got very fine, sparse lashes, then you need a volumising mascara, one that's going to add volume. Um, if you've got thick lashes, but they are heavy, so mm -hmm. they're slightly down, you need a lift and curling mascara. If they're very fine, you need a much smaller wand. Um, it sort of goes on like that a little bit. And with mascara, I think it's a little bit trial and error. You know, you've got to try new ones. I mean, you shouldn't really keep a mascara for more than 12 months. Really? Um, no, because it is you know, starting to dry out by then, and your eye does harbour a lot of bugs and germs, so you should probably update it. I mean, every six months would be ideal. Yeah, exactly. And, and so you were talking about the right formula, and there's lots of different formulas. And what are these bits of space dust that you're talking oh, that's about? that's in one of them. It's this massive trend at the moment. The sort of everyone's upping their game in mascara steaks. And I guess it's anything that's going to give you that lift and curl and keep it there. Because, you know, none of us have time to touch up our makeup during the day. And actually, mascara is probably the one thing that we don't touch up. I mean, we would powder or lipstick. Mm. So the longer it can lift your lashes up and give them some support better. So what's the right or wrong way to actually apply it? Well, I always tell people never to pump the tube because that dries it out. Ah. You just twist the mascara brush around the tube. It's, I mean, most people do pump yeah. it, but what you're doing is actually pumping air into it so it dries out much quicker. Okay. And secondly, you know, don't put too much on the brush. Like, actually wipe it off on the side before you apply it and then do more than one coat. So let it dry. Let it dry and then do another coat. And I think start right at the base of the lashes and wiggle the brush a little bit and that actually helps load up the lashes much more more than just coating and coating and coating. So wiggle at the, at the, like right at the base of the lashes and then pull outward and upward. And lift your lashes as you're applying the mascara. So how do you stop it from like dripping onto the bottom of your, you know, your I eye think there? that's the secret, not too much on the brush. You right. know, a lot of people have loaded up their lashes in one coat and that's when it starts to fall down. Also, um, a lot of people dust a um, translucent powder between layers and that works really well. Or mm. my, one of my greatest tips is to look upward and actually apply it upward into a mirror. I'm making funny faces today, I'm sure. Well, I always do that um, face doing mascara. For or, some reason, have my mouth open, yeah? Open your mouth or downward. You know, if you wear glasses, that's another challenge. You know, look down into a mirror and apply it rather than actually looking straight ahead. So there's okay. a couple of options there. Is, what about waterproof or not? Well, I don't like waterproof mascara. Okay, why not? Because your lashes are quite delicate. Yeah. And it's actually really hard to get off. Mm -hmm. um, and unless you're a massive sobber and cry all the time, <laughs> I mean, why do you need it? I mean, I never cry, but if you do cry all the time, then probably that's the only time you'd need a waterproof mascara. Most mascaras are water resistant, mm -hmm. but if you like to go out in the rain and sob, then obviously you need. <laughs> <laughs> mascara, but otherwise, just go with a normal formulation that's gentle on your lashes. Yep. Because what you're trying to do is enhance those assets with a, with a waterproof mascara that's stubborn to get off. You're rubbing at your eye and pulling at your lashes, and then you know, and then you get more wrinkles. Yeah. Let's get to product. Okay, let's get to product. Okay, let's start with a new one that I adore by Terry. is available at Mecca stores. This is so clever. It's all about the brush. You can dial up your option from one to two, and the brush twists. Oh, cool! So one side you can get a gorgeous curve in your lashes, the other side you can load it up and get a full on feathered look. Wow, so very that's super cool. Clever. Um, this is um, taking the beauty world by storm and it's, it was actually very difficult to get my hands on because it sold out. Benefit have just launched this bad girl bang mascara. And I like the name of that. we all over Instagram at the moment. This one contains space technology, aero particles that actually lift your lashes and keep them there for hours. Mike's looking at me as if to say, you're telling lies. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's true. Hey, and have you noticed how long guys' lashes are and how short women's are? Yeah, it's like, so unfair. He's got the longest lashes I know. and doesn't even scar. So, um, getting back to um, Bad Girl Bang, it's full of aero particles that actually lift your lashes, keep them supported for 36 hours. So, if you want to stay great looking all night, that's the that's one. That's the one. Um, you'd have to be blind not to notice, notice the explosion of mecha beauty stores around mm. the at the moment. This I love because it's thought through for those women who have very small, tiny lashes for the bottom. Look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. Cute. Can you see that? So you've got a dual action um, wand um, on this one. So that side is for thickening the lashes. Yes. It's called IMAX, by the way, from Mecha Max. And that little wand there is ideal for getting those tiny little lashes on the bottom or in the corner of the eye, which often we miss. We do. It's really tough to get to. Okay. Yeah. We've not got much time. Okay. But... Um, if you're getting married, Amazing. Um, the eye opening scar from Bobby Brown. If you want to look amazing with massive touches, look at the look size at of that. Bank puppy. Wand. Awesome. Ooh. And then I always like to bring in a good budget beauty buy because I think, you know, we're not all going to be spending, you know, $30, $40, $50 no. on mascara. Um, one of my all time favourites would have to be the um, Max Factor 2000 calorie. This is the only time you can have 2000 calories at once. <laughs> Like not it. feel guilty. No. Um, great liquid um, wax emulsion in that, so glossy, long, beautiful lashes. And it's a great price, and you can get it in my stores. And this is another cool brand. Um, it's called The Balm. You might have seen it at Life Pharmacy or Pharma's stores. Um, and it's called Mad Lash, and it's actually all about getting flexibility into your lashes. So the wand, if you want to pull it out and give it a wiggle, it's a plastic, flexible wand. Oh, look at that. So you can actually... Um, move your lashes around, you know, separate them really easily. Um, it's a great mascara for a great price. Perfect. Thanks so much, Trudy. As always, head to Trudy's website, beautyeq.co.nz, for more tips and tricks. <laughs>